Poland is one of the few countries in the world who refused to receive any refugees from the Middle East and Africa. Polish right-wing government says it will guard the Catholic values of Europe against Muslim invasion. The messianic hateful propaganda sparked an unprecedented wave of xenophobia, racism and nationalism in the Polish society with fascist marches and acts of violence against minorities. Yet one man set off for a journey to change the hateful attitude of his folks and defend human values of solidarity. It was me, Rafał Petlejewski, an artist and a journalist. Here is my story. I started with painting this huge banner saying let's welcome refugees. I wanted to hang it in the Warsaw street. I called my friend, a beautiful TV celebrity, Omena Mensa, who is Polish with a lovely African skin, to join me in the quest. She willingly agreed, knowing what the risks were. The idea was to enter two random buildings across the street from each other and persuade someone to open the door and agree to hang our banner from their window. I must say that entering private random houses is an adventure in itself. But we succeeded and our banner flew into the air, over the city traffic. It was beautiful. Of course there was police, but we were proud that a new and powerful statement is being voiced. Not for long. I posted the film on social media and awaited reaction. It blew my mind. You fucking faggot, I hope you and your family will be raped by fat black dicks. You are a traitor and a disgrace. Get the fuck away from my country. Petlejenski, do you really want all this filth to infest Poland? We will defend our region and Jesus against Muslim invasion and people like you. I was watching in terror how my countrymen spill their hate and fear. The film reached over a million views and thousands of comments came in. All of them hateful. We Polish patriots hope you die. White power, Poland for Polish people. You are an agent of source and Jews. You idiot, we will come for you. Who is paying your money, you scumbag? What I found striking was the overwhelming fear. My countrymen were terrified of what they thought was a lethal threat. In refugees, they did not see victims of poverty or war, people who needed help and solidarity. They saw an invading army. So I decided to hang my banner again, but this time, add a sentence. Have courage, Poland. I wanted to send this positive message to my fellow men, but I was stopped by a group of nationalists awaiting. I knew some of these boys from my neighborhood. We play football together. The police told me not to open the banner. I went home defeated. But I did not give in. I took my banner, got on the car and traveled 300 miles to a smaller city, Swupsk, to see how people would react there. At the town hall square, I found a group of aggressive men who shouted their racist and xenophobic comments and called me all kinds of names. It was only thanks to police that I could open the banner. I tried to talk to them, but no one would shake my hand. I came back to Warsaw, only to find out that Warsaw Mosque has been attacked. Windows smashed with stones. Little Muslim community terrified. I went to see the Imam to express my regret and say I was sorry as a Polish Catholic. As it turns out, I was the only one who showed up. 
Later on Facebook, I learned you should have sucked Imam's dick, you asshole. After two months of banner quest, I decided to go to the Polish beach and drown the banner in the sea, in a symbolic act. I was alone, ridiculed, spat on, hated. I felt like an idiot. The scale of resentment really blew my mind. But there, on the beach, as I was struggling with the wind, I was suddenly approached by three young people. They read the banner, talked to me for a minute and offered their help. Thanks to them, I could stretch my banner one last time and get this lovely and symbolic picture. Back in Warsaw, I found a letter in my mailbox sent by a young boy from who knows where. He said, One day, when I grow up, I would like to be like you. Please don't give up. No, I guess I can't give up. We can't give up on being human. Love from Poland, Rafał.